Hi guys, I'm Julie Scott and I'm here in Egertown, Massachusetts on Martha's Vineyard Island at Slough Farm Foundation. I'm the farm manager here and we specialize in growing heritage breed animals and vegetables organically uh, to feed our island. We have programs here that are educational for kids, young kids and up to adults, for the community, for our local schools, and we donate the majority of what we produce to those in need here on the island. We raise our animals out in the field, in the sun, on the grass, and grow our vegetables with love and using natural methods and regenerative growing and we try and get our food out to everybody who needs it. So a heritage breed animal is similar to an heirloom vegetable. So it's a, a breed of animal that has been carefully selected long ago to retain certain traits. A heritage breed turkey has characteristics that you know to expect and that you know will do well in a particular area or in a particular method of farming. So we know that heritage turkeys are good foragers, they are hardier than a commercial breed, and they are more able to withstand elements in a setting like this where an outside pasture growing setting. They're really a special bird and historically the turkeys that were consumed would have all been a similar bird to this. Hello friends, welcome to Slough Farm's amazing kitchen. My name's Lucia Heyman and I've had the good fortune of being a private chef here on Martha's Vineyard for quite a while. And it provides the opportunity to work with some amazing food. And so we're here today cooking up our heritage turkey, heritage breed turkey that um, farmer Julie showed us the other day in the fields. So those lovely birds have been processed and we're gonna go about brining them makes quite a bit of difference in the finished product, right? Brining has, there's a little bit of science to it. When we put the bird in the brining solution, it's a salty, sugary, it's also flavored with aromatics, and it truly imparts in a remarkable flavor and tenderness. It's perfect to do the night before. The brining solution itself is gonna start off with, with, I've got about a gallon of water in here. It's boiling. We're gonna use brown sugar. I'm gonna go somewhere in between half a cup and a cup. And then kosher salt, all right, about a cup. Literally ginger that they grew here at Slough Cove, that's going in some beautiful garlic. Everything can be just a rough chop, right? We don't need to uh, spend too much time chopping anything for this brine, or a stock would be the same thing. So I've quartered our onions, slice them in half and just let them also impart that lovely onion flavor. And herbs really, it, it could be to your flavor palette, but with poultry, chicken, um, chicken or turkey, thyme, rosemary, and sage are perfect. So that's, and I'm gonna throw in a little parsley too. So simply some black pepper, just about like that. That's a tablespoon. These are amazing juniper berries couple bay leaves. I'm actually going to throw in some oranges too. Citrus imparts just a lot of goodness, a lot of tenderness. It won't be long for the salt and the sugar to dissolve. Keeps that flavor. This is ready. My sugar and salt have dissolved. We take this off the heat. Before we add our bird, we've got to cool it. So we're going to use a lot of nice ice. So here we've got our big non-reactive container. Oh boy. All right. Every drop of goodness we want. Yeah, it's nice and cold. We don't want it to be hot. The breast meat is really what we want to get that flavor and part it in. So I'm gonna put it straight in head first right into that ice bath. Let the cavity fill. Turning, rotating the bird in the brine is a good idea, but if, if you've got your bird nicely submerged in brine, he's good to go. We'll put it in the fridge and we'll come back in the morning and roast it up. We'll see you tomorrow to roast up our heritage breed turkey. I had stopped by the farm for some fresh rosemary and cilantro and parsley. 
roast that with these gorgeous farm carrots. A, a generous drizzle of some olive oil. We're gonna place this in a um, 350 oven, let it roast. All right, so we pulled this beautiful heritage breed turkey out of the brine. And I think it's pretty clear what the brine does. And you can see the skin is just so clean. I can just see the juiciness. And we rinsed it, of course, because it's in a salt bath. So we want to give it a good rinse inside the cavity, all around. Make sure you get that salt water bath off of your bird. Now it's still a little damp, so we're going to pat it dry with some paper towel. We're going to take some um, lemon and just half it, maybe quarter it. We're going to stuff those guys in. I'm going to put a few in. Rosemary, always a good choice for birds. So we'll take a couple cloves of garlic. If you take it out of the skin, it's going to breathe a little more and impart that flavor. So the front cavity also has space for stuffing. So I definitely will put um, a lemon or two up there and a garlic clove or two. So heritage breed turkeys are a little trickier to cook. Um, again, that leaner muscle uh, gets more oxygen from its exercise and it changes the pigment of the bird. So even the breast meat is not going to be as pure white as it would be in conventionally farmed turkey. So just be aware of that. So we're just going to do a little drizzle, grass-fed organic butter that we've melted, and we're just adding that to the outside to help that seal in that flavor. All right, Heritage Breed Turkey, you are ready for the oven. So we've got it on at 325. Low and slow is the expression, and it's a really great way to cook. All right, so it's almost about an hour that the bird's been in, and we're going to take a peek. And we're also going to rotate it because the um, front of the oven is not as hot as the back of the oven. So one way to help keep the circulation and the cooking even is by doing that. Okay, so we're starting to brown up nicely. Right, so our breast temperature is reading about 133. Our leg temperature is reading 140. We're going to cover these legs that are browning so nicely so they don't get overdone. So we've got a couple pieces of heavy-duty foil. And we're just going to loosely, loosely tent it so that those pieces keep their golden brown but don't go further. All right, folks, the time has come. We are feeling good about this. Oh, my goodness, the smell. There's nothing like it. Okay, my friends, the bird has come in at 165 degrees on both the leg and the breast. Remember, that pigment is what's going to give the heritage breed turkey more flavor. So that's about perfect, my friends. Look at that. Juicy. You can see the juices are just spilling out. We have reached the finish line, and this beautiful heritage breed turkey that you met a few days ago in the field is now going to grace our plate and I need a tester so Sophie do you think you might be able to come and give this bird a taste so a, <laughs> a perfectly cooked piece here for you just take a little bite oh my goodness it's so tender and it's so flavorful it's delicious thank you Slough Farm Thank you, Farmer Julie. <laughs> bon appetit. Thank you guys so much for coming to meet our turkey uh, in the field and in the kitchen. And thank you to Lucia and Michelle and Farmer Julie and everyone who helped. Um, we are so excited to be offering more educational programming this winter, spring, and summer. So make sure to sign up for our newsletter at our website, sloughfarm.org, S-L-O-U-G-H, farm. Um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you in person soon. Yay, thank you. It's so yummy. <laughs> okay, Let's eat. <laughs>